Let's get something straight. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. This two-minute tech tip was recorded at Sangam 2016 in Bangalore, India. Hi, my name is Atul. I'm an Oracle Ace, and I have my company, K21 Academy. And the clock starts now. So my tech tip is today for EBS integration with identity and access management for single sign-on. So first of all, things have changed slightly between release 12.1 and 12.2. So 12.2... Let me start with the various components. So you have something called as web gate, which is a policy enforcement point. Then you have a access gate, which is a Java application, and that will collect the user ID, user ID and GUID received from web gate and validate against the eBusiness Suite database. Then you have Oracle Access Manager towards the back, which is uh, which role of access, manage, access manager is to do the single sign-on, and access manager will then collect the user ID and password and validate against the LDAP server that is OID or OUD. Now, here's the tip here, tip number one. you Oracle's recommendation is now to go with OUD, which is the next version or next uh, recommended LDAP server for any new and big implementations. So go with OUD if possible, otherwise OID is supported. Second tip is, before you start looking at OUD, verify that eBusiness Suite is supported, or specific version of EBS that you're doing implementing or integrating with e- LDAP Oracle Access Manager is supported with OUD or not. And finally, I'll tell you or walk you through the flow. So the flow is, user try to access EBS. EBS will have a web gate, which is a policy enforcement point. Request will go from web gate to Oracle Access Manager. Access Manager to the OID or OUD, session created, then goes to the access gate, validate against the EBS database, and session is created into eBusiness Suite, and you're straight in. Did that tip stimulate any brain activity? It is good. Let us know. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned.